guys, Chef Jenna here, welcome back. Today we're gonna make another dish using the banana peel that we used uh, last week. So many people ask me to make a different uh, uh, meal using banana peel. And uh, lots of people ask me like, where did you get that from? Well, thousands of years ago, uh, for example, the Indians in Brazil, they used to have banana peels cooked in several different ways. And nowadays, since we're trying to reduce waste because we're, we're getting suffocated with more and more and more waste, we have been learning how to recycle a lot. And then I thought, why not bring this back, right? So today we're going to make meatless meatballs. It is so easy. Kids love it. You got to try with them. They're going to love it. And um, there are lots of fun and interesting facts about the banana peel and nutritional facts I'm going to describe to you along the video. But first, how do we make it? Very simple. You get three uh, banana peels, preferably when they're a little bit more green. What kind of banana? Any banana. It doesn't really matter. It, they have to be uh, more green than ripe because when they are more green, the peel, it's a little bit more thick as opposed as uh, when they are ripe, the, the peel gets really thin and then it gets sweet. So what I have here are the banana peels. I have chopped them, uh, julienne them very finely. You can put them in a food processor if you want. I didn't want to bother because I had time. And we're going to make it and treat it just as if it was any other um, protein uh, such as uh, TSP, which is a texturized uh, soy protein, uh, soy curls, meatless curl, whatever kind of, th that's the same way you treat it. We're going to first, because we need the binding agent, which is going to be the linseed, um, the ground linseed. We're going to add two tablespoons of flaxseed or linseed and four to five tablespoons of water and we're going to let it hydrating. It's going to glue everything together. Then we set this aside and now we're going to work on the meatless meatballs. We're going to add half a cup of chopped onions. Now I have herbs and spices. Um, every time we make a food, you build the flavors like you're building a house. You put blocks of flavors, you put herbs, and then you're gonna build up the flavors. For this recipe, which is my favorite, this is my preference, I'm going to add a teaspoon of oregano. You can add any other herb if you prefer, but I like oregano very much for this dish. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one third of a teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of paprika. That's going to give a color. Salt, one teaspoon, fresh pepper, and half a teaspoon of cumin powder. What I forgot to tell you guys is that's going to be a one pot kind of meal. We're going to uh, have it with the fettuccine that's already boiling in my pan here. And, uh, but we're going to make the sauce and then we're going, going to cook the, the meatless meatballs in the sauce. So we're not going to use oven. We're not going to fry them. They're going to uh, cook in the sauce. That's very fast, isn't it? It is very convenient. And we add half a cup of flour and half a cup of breadcrumbs. I have the two of them here mixed together. Now we add our binding agent. And if you need a little bit of water or vegetable broth, and then you mix it and you don't have a choice. You're going to have to do that with your hands because your hands are your best tools, as I keep saying, because that's how we, we learn in the cooking school. I know some people think it's not very sanitary, but I promise you I have washed my hands many times. I wash my hands all the time in the kitchen. As you can see, there's a lot of color happening here because of the paprika. It's very important to add a little bit of breadcrumbs. If you're uh, gluten intolerant, you can add uh, chickpea flour or you can add rice flour and gluten-free breadcrumbs. 
but it's important to add the breadcrumbs because they soak, they absorb a lot of the water and it makes it easier when you're going to cook the meatballs. It's good enough for me. Now I'm going to wash my hands and then I'm going to come back and show you the second part of this recipe. All right, now we're going to heat, reheat the tomato sauce that I taught you guys how to make a few videos ago. Click there and then it's going to take you to straight to the recipe. But if you don't want to make tomato uh, sauce, you can use a good quality organic, um, preferably Italian passata, because it's a little bit more liquid. And in order to cook the, the meatless meatballs, the sauce it has to be, at the beginning at least, a little bit more liquidy. Otherwise, it's too thick and it's very difficult to cook through. And then it has a tendency to stick to the bottom and that's not very good. So that's the tomato sauce that I made the other day. I, sometimes I make um, a lot and then I freeze it because it's very helpful whenever you want to make food or even uh, to give it to people as a, as a gift. It's very thoughtful to do that, don't you think? While I'm going to be rolling the, the balls, I'm going to get my fire on. And then, simple, you grease your hands. And then you make little balls. Like that. Okay, I forgot to tell you, I have put this mixture in the fridge for 30 minutes. It's important because if you don't do that, they're going to fall apart when you put them in the sauce. If you have more time, you can put them for 40 minutes, one hour, even better. And there you go. Try to make the same size so they cook through evenly. Somebody asked me if you can freeze the banana peels to use it um, in the future. Yes, you can. Definitely you can. Put them in a plastic bag, close it very tight, and you can freeze them for up to four, six months. Interesting fact about the banana peel. It has 10 times less calorie than the banana. And it has five times more vitamin C than an orange. I mean, this is like unbelievable, isn't it? Something that we, we eat bananas all the time, we throw away the peel, like, no, you don't have to throw away the peel. You can make delicious things. Try not to crowd them because uh, we don't want them uh, sticking to each other, the meatballs. Meatless meatballs. I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That will do, that will make, depending on how big you're making your balls, like from 10 to 12, maybe 13. Now you just cover the sauce with the meatballs and let it simmer in medium low heat from 15 to 20 minutes. Try not to stir them so much at the beginning because we don't want them to fall apart. Balls made with banana peels, they're ready. They were cooking for 28 minutes. A little, I gave it a little bit more time and then I lowered the heat a little bit more. Added a little bit of water, just a tiny bit because I wanted, I wanted to keep it a little bit more liquid, like I said. And it's like tasting time, as always. Do you really think that I was gonna let you go with your day without trying for you? The sauce has thickened a little bit because of the because the, the the balls they cooked in the sauce and they had a little bit of flour so they released a little bit of, of the flour and it, it thickened up a little bit and now the meatballs they are very firm it's very important guys that you put the meatballs before you cook them you put them in the fridge or if you feel not feel uh, secure enough to cook them in the sauce because you're afraid that they're gonna fall apart 
just pop them in the oven for 35 40 minutes and um, in 180 360 380 Fahrenheit or you just fry them five minutes per side in the medium heat a little bit of parsley and a little bit of parmesan I taught you guys how to make parmesan click there it's very easy very simple and now let me try this mm. so good I mean very tasty very consistent it's very you can uh, uh, feel the bites uh, the pieces of the banana peel there is no sweetness or anything that resembles a banana whatsoever you can make this i mean it's impressive guys this is it for today thanks so much for watching thanks for the comments i try to reply them all it's very fun and i see you next time bye bye